Central Stearns County until 6.15 p.m. At 5.40 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 9 miles north of Hinksville, or 26 miles west of St. Cloud, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Albany and Richmond around 5.50 p.m. Cold Spring around 5.55 p.m. Avon around 6 p.m. St. Joseph, Collegeville, and Rockville around 6.05 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include St. Wendell, Pleasant Lake, Farming, and St. Martin. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornado watch number 437 remains in effect until 8 p.m. for the following hour. Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Meeker County, south central Stearns County, northeastern Kansas and High County until 6.15 p.m. At 5.40 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located over Spicer for eight miles northeast of Wilson. A confirmed tornado at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado and quarter size hail. A tornado has been confirmed by law enforcement. Oh my god! The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. In West Central. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. A tor C. Likely. That's the first. The tornado will be near. Pain still around 6 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Haywick, Manana, Lake Coronas Regional Park, Painesville Airport, and Green Lake. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Double header. Jack, confirm tornado. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for Central McLeod County until 6.15 p.m. Thunderstorm warning for Eastern Sibley County, East 
Central McLeod County, Southwestern Carver County, until 6.30 p.m. At 5.44 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Gaylord, 20 p.m. miles southeast of Hutchinson, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Oh my god, a triple header, this is the first. Expected hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Arlington around 5.55 p.m. Green Isle around 6.05 p.m. Norwood Young America around 6.20 p.m. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Plato, Hamburg and Glico Airport. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for central Minnesota. A tornado watch remains in effect for the warned area. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. A confirmed tornado, Although a tornado in a triple is not header. Immediately likely, How lucky if one can is spotted, I be? Act quickly and move to a place of safety inside a sturdy structure, such as a basement or small oh interior room. Oh my God, this room. is so long. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. I swear to God, if it's a quadruple header. A tornado okay. warning remains in effect until wow. 15 p.m. for North. Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Mille County, southeastern Morrison County, until 6.30 p.m. At 5.58 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Piers, or 13 miles east of Little Falls, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous for those caught without flight. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. The dangerous storm will be near Onamia around 6.20 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Bugman, Tillman, and Genola. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A tornado warning. Service in the Twin Cities has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Mille County, Benton County, northwestern Sherburne County, northeastern Stearns County, southeastern Morrison County until 6.45 p.m. At 6.01 p.m., a severe off. thunderstorm was located over Collegeville, or 10 miles west of St. Cloud, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 mile per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Wait Park around 6.05 p.m. Sauk Rapids and Rice around 6.15 p.m. St. Cloud around 6.20 p.m. Foley around 6.25 p.m. Forreston around 6.40 p.m. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Sherburne National Wildlife Refuge, Dew Elm, Mayhew, Moreal, Glendorado, Parents, St. Cloud Airport, Oak Park, Apple and Pleasant Lake. A tornado watch remains in effect until 8 p.m. for central Minnesota. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in the Twin Cities. A tornado warning. 
Oh my god, another tornado warning. Hey, I don't live in St. Cloud this is right a radar now. indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Sock Rapids around 6.15 p.m. Kind of St. Cloud around 6.20 p.m. Only around 6:30 p.m. Other locations. She's getting scared by the radios going off. Mayhew, Gilman, Pleasant Lake, Parent, and St. Cloud Airport. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. That's about uh, Eden Prairie, I believe. At 6:12 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Lester Prairie, or 18 miles east of Hutchinson, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. A severe thunderstorm warning remains. Another tornado warning. The National Weather Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for Northern Meeker County until 6.45 p.m. I made an EAS fire alarm. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Grove City, or 19 miles east of Wilmer, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include quarter-size hail. This is a radar. 
Let's get a nice thumbnail. It's only if I have monetized or not monetized. Okay, well that's a bad idea. A severe thunderstorm.